this is Indian territory, this is Indian country, and this is a very racially united community. One thing the Berlin community is not united on is whether to keep its Indians' history alive in the form of the school district's nickname and logo. Though it officially was accepted in 1939, the mascot goes back to the turn of the century. The Indian's name is in the process of being replaced. A citizen complaint and a public hearing led to the Department of Public Instruction telling the district it had a year to change its name. We are just fighting the uh, process and procedure. Barb Resop says she is one of a large group of Berlin residents who plan to challenge the implementation of the state's mascot law. The residents' plans mirror an effort in McWanago. Earlier this month, two McWanago citizens won a circuit court battle versus the state to keep its Indian's name. The judge ruled the DPI decision maker in the case had a high risk of bias. I think that the fact that McGonagall was successful in their lawsuit sure gave us courage. Berlin Superintendent Bob Idle tells me the group's formation changes nothing for the district and a committee will move forward with possibly finding a new name. He says if a new name is needed, a change likely won't take place until spring. Thomas Sobieski, the Berlin resident who filed the nickname complaint with the state, did not want to do an on-camera interview for this story. However, Sobieski tells Fox 11 he has had good conversations with district leaders about finding a new nickname. We are Indians. We're very proud of it. And I'm very proud of this community for standing up for holding on to their mascot. The group's effort to keep the Indians' nickname intact is still in its early stages. Group leaders say they are talking with potential lawyers and figuring out a way to pay for the legal battle. In Berlin, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News.